These competitors are squaring off, looking to outmatch each other. It's going to be a tall task for one of these two. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. John Cena is one of WWE's longest tenured veterans, but he's still got plenty left in the tank. I agree with you, Byron. There's a reason they call the guy Big Match John. What's The Undertaker got in mind here? Hey, uh -oh. Byron, how about we take things a little old school? Yeah, I like it. Back in from the apron. The WWE is many to find eras and athletes who were the face of the company during that time. Bret Hart during the new generation. How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, no. Sunset bomb. Wow. Michael, you call John Cena the face of the WWE, and I don't think anyone can doubt that. He's got a record number of world titles and has main evented some of the... Harsh impact. Oh, it's over. Well, John Cena's in a real bad spot. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Look at the height from the Phenom. Oh, my goodness. Tombstone. Pile driver. But he's got a capital... I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold, and unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. Big punch finds its mark. They can't walk after that attack to the back. He's in the driver's seat now. And a kick out at two. Very nice. Uh-oh. Going for the run. There is no coming back from that one. And Cena pops the shoulder up. And the match continues. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right out there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Haymaker connects. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a trip. Uh-oh. Going for the run. Massive choke slam. That's what he was looking for, Michael.
This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Here comes The Undertaker with a flying clothesline. As Corey mentioned, uh-oh. Go for the run. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? This one might just do the trick. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Oh, my. Backbreaker. That'll realign your vertebrae. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold. And unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury, sometimes serious injury. The sudden stop at the end. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. Don't. Uh oh. Go for the ride. This one is over. But now, can Undertaker capitalize? Here we go. The Undertaker is setting it up. Oh my goodness. Here's his moment, Michael. Hard to... One, two. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. That might have done it, Cole. One, two, and the shoulder gets up in time. Are you kidding me? The Undertaker laughs at stuff like that. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. say watching this match I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Whoa this is surprising Byron. Yeah I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of one. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Nice kick out there. John Cena is measuring. Momentum clearly in his corner. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. 
And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Thunderous slam. Somehow, how? As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right up there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. What a strike. Right on the mark. Of course, extreme rule. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? He's in trouble. Wow, I thought he was a goner. And Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question. He's a long way from a three, tell you that. He may be the dead man, but Taker ain't laying down for anybody. Are we looking at yet another John Cena victory here? Yeah, but can John Cena take advantage now? Ooh, John Cena may have it. But I don't know how much gas he has left. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get it. deep for a kick out. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Wicked clothesline. Here we go. The Undertaker is setting it up. Regarding Corey's point about... Oh, my... Now he's working that exploit. And there it is, boys. One, two, and a kick out. He may be the dead man, but Taker ain't laying down for anybody. As we've seen in the past, extreme rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. A striking blow. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imagined. Oh my goodness! Tombstone! Pile driver! That should do it. Overall, this match was average at best, but not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money. Nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight.